Hello everyone and welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm glad you're here. With a couple of foil balls and some oven baked clay, I'm gonna make a pair of earrings. Once the foil balls are covered in the clay, then I take some wire and cut and shape those to be the next part. Poking some pieces of aluminum wire into the foil under the clay was a little diff more difficult than I thought, so I used a thumbtack to make the hole to put them in. Now I take some more clay and I roll it into a ball and I cut that in half and then cut the halves in half to try and make equal size pieces. Once I have the four pieces, I put the wire that I cut and shaped into each one of them. Then I poke those into the holes that I made with the thumbtack into the side of the foil ball and clay. And now that they're assembled, it's time to start uh, shaping things up with some sculpting tools. I almost forgot my oven bake adhesive to help hold things together. Of course, after I used the oven bake adhesive, I realized I needed to take the parts off to shape them. My bad. While shaping them, I just trim off just a little bit of clay that wasn't needed. Then I realized that I needed to bulk up the one part of the clay covered foil ball just to make it a little bit more bulky. Then I realized, what's a turkey without its wings? So I rolled out a small piece of clay into a long strip and cut that in half and folded that into wing shapes and flattened them out and put them on.
After blending the wings in and a little shaping to the breast, voila, a little turkey. Once the turkeys were done baking in the oven for 15 minutes, then it was time to paint. First, I started with a base coat of yellow. Then I mixed a little bit of orange and some red with a tiny touch of yellow. Going for that oven baked, nice crispy color. Once they were dry, I dry brushed some dark brown on them to give them that nice roasted look. Then I had to drill some holes in order to put the earring hooks in. The little post to go inside the earrings was a little long, so I had to measure it out and cut them down to size. Once that was done, then I had to spread out the eyelet and put the earring hooks on to those. I struggled with my round jeweler pliers, so I brought in my flat pliers, which helped much better. Once I had that done, then it was time to put some super glue in the holes and put the earrings on. And once that was done, it was time to just let them hang and for the glue to set before they were ready to be worn. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.